Hi, I'm Kieran Sullivan, and this is Nature Photography on a Budget. As you can see, we're outside. It's a beautiful day. My bush behind me. It's been getting plenty of action, so I thought it was perfect time to uh, bring you this video. Now the idea is we can get up close detailed shots like this. Without a long lens, just using your kit lenses or whatever you've got. If you ever tried to do any nature shots with your uh, your short lenses, you'll know it's hard work. You know, you, you try and get a bit closer and the birds just fly away, you've got no chance. So the plan is, we're gonna get the camera set on the tripod somewhere where we know that the birds come and then trigger it from a distance. In my case, I'm gonna use my phone. Uh, I've got a Canon app, but if you're with Nikon, they have an app and so does Sony. Um, or you can just buy a wireless shutter release on Amazon or wherever. So yeah, let's get to it. Right, so I'm just getting my composition. I'm in portrait, focus on that bird feeder here, which I know the birds come on. And um, I'm just focusing on the bird feeder so that I know when the birds are on it, they'll be at a similar distance and I'll get them, get them sharp. Uh, you'll see my settings when I flick it to the phone but uh, what I'm really aiming for is just a quick shutter speed so we get no blur when the birds move around. I'm just going to finish getting my composition, then I'm going to flick it to the Wi-Fi to my phone, and then I'm going to go in and wait for the birds to come. As you can see, we're inside. This is a screen recorder of my phone. Uh, it's just about as far as the Wi-Fi function will stretch. Um, but yeah, you can see my settings there. Uh, quick shutter speed, like I said. I mean, you can change uh, your aperture and your ISO to suit, you know, if, if the sun comes out or it goes behind the clouds. Um, this isn't a real-time recording because it, it took about half an hour for the birds to come, so I just thought I'd do a screen record on, on my phone. Uh, but yeah, there it is, just sort of swinging about in the wind, the bird feeder, just waiting for the birds to come. And you've just got to be ready. So this uh, great tick came in, quickly got three shots of him. And then uh, I think maybe the shutter scared him off. Um, but I got these three shots. And usually before, when I did it the first time, the shutter does scare him off, but then they come back and realize like the camera's doing no, no harm to him. But a big horrible pigeon, which always frequents my bush, came in and scared him off. After that, I thought I'd have a go trying to get the, the uh, black beds that come in the garden. So, I got some bread out and um, put my shoe in the frame and focused on that where I thought it'd be. And uh, yeah, they came and they was hopping around and um, nearly coming in frame. I was just sort of waiting, sitting waiting. And then the big pigeon came back and uh, started chucking all the food about, eating it all. And yeah, scared them off. So I reset it up with the, the bread and the food where I'd want the blackbirds to be. But then this little critter came in, you can just see his tail. And I, I got an out of focus shot of him leaving. Um, so I had to do it for a third time, get set up. And I've got no footage of it, but I've got this shot here of uh, this black bear just having a look at what's going on, eyeing up the camera. So I've managed to get a couple of shots. They're, they're not perfect, but you, know, you just need to keep trying, keep persevering with it. Um, it's something you can do at home, so, so give it a go. Next week I'll be doing a video on the must-have apps for your phone to help you with your photography. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Uh, thank you for watching this, stay safe and I'll see you soon.